In today's video, we will work our way through extracting email data and then cleaning it up to a table or long format data for further analysis. So let me open up a blank Excel file and save it. Let's call it data extraction. We will be using a macro to extract this data from emails onto an txt file. The macro is already stored in Outlook. So if I show you the macro real quick, this is the macro that we'll be using. The explanation of this macro is out of scope of this video. But basically, it will extract data from all of the selected emails, convert it into a text file and dump it. So let me select all of the four emails and let's turn the macro, the developer macros. I'm going to select the macro that is merge selected emails into text file. And it says email text extraction completed. All right. So we have the Excel extracted data here. Let me copy and paste all of the data into the Excel file. And this is the data we have. And as you can see, the table data we were interested in has translated into Excel into a table format. So you have this data here from here till here. This is the data we are interested in for all of the different transactions. If we scroll down, so we have this one here then we have this one here and so on and so forth. All right. So let's start creating our formula that will give us the final results. We identify the columns we need. So we'll start from transaction ID and go up to amount column. So we need from here here. So we can just copy and paste these and just transpose these alt H V to access the special paste box and S special. We can simply say E for transpose and we get the value spaces as transpose. Great. Now the first thing we will need to do is we will need to create a simple Excel formula that says if row, if the row of column A equals to transaction ID. So let me expand this a bit. Let me zoom in a bit as well. So we add a freeze here. So we say alt W F F for freeze. So we can always see the columns even if we scroll down. So the first thing we need to identify is the transaction ID. So we will create a formula that will say if column A and the specific row contains transaction ID. We return next row of same column. So let's start building up the formula. So we say if this value equals, I'm just going to say placeholder for now. I'm just going to copy and paste transaction ID here later. If this is true, then we will simply return this value. And if it's false, we will say black. And I just copy and paste this value here, transaction ID. Here's our formula. Let me fill in the value. And you can see it has returned this value. Another trick is to do F2, copy and paste this into next column. What we will want to do is wherever it identifies transaction ID, we want to return the value next to it in the second column. So we want to return the value that is date and time. Actually, I guess the columns are a bit switched up. So I'm going to cut and this here. So the ID, this is date and time. And similarly, we will follow this logic to all of the columns. So we simply F2, copy and paste, and we just move one column down. Do this again, so on and so forth. Once this is done, we can simply do copy and paste this to down row. You see, once we start copy and pasting this for all those rows where we don't find a transaction ID, this will be blank. So let me add it till here. All of these rows will be blank. And as soon as we paste these into the column that contains transaction ID, we will see the results. So as you can see, as soon as it found the transaction ID column, it gave us results for all of those rows. So let's copy and paste this till the end column. So let's find the last row and paste the formula still there. This should give us the results for all of our rows. Now what we can simply do is we can add a filter here from start to end. And then we can simply filter out rows where there are non blanks. So let me deselect the bank values. And you can see we have the results for all of our values. We can simply copy and paste. Let's say we want this added to a new sheet. Paste as values, Alt H V V. Alt H V to expand the columns. Let's convert this to date format. So we say Alt H S for short date, and we get our results. Let's zoom in a bit, and we get our results in a perfectly Excel converted table. That's it for this video. If you know any other ways to clean up this data and convert it to an Excel format or table format, let me know in the comments. Till next time, happy learning.